Greetings. I wanted to show you a couple of things here before you get started. This will save you a little time. Uh, we're looking at the plugin area here, and you'll see here widget area, widgets I've already made up, add new, site pop up area. All right, this is if you want to use a, a pop up or actually a slide in on the site. Uh, I don't have it set on this little test site here, but let's go over the main thing here, and that is the menu, something I really want to talk about here. Uh, this menu is actually in an iframe, and it is to be hosted on your hosting account somewhere. It doesn't matter where. I mean, it's totally up to you. Main thing is, is getting it right, getting the URL right so you can complete the branding of the plugin. All right. This help area right here is an actually an Google Docs iframed PDF. Now, you can upload your own PDF if you would like and replace it within this menu or you can use mine that I have here. Uh, this, there will be no advertisement on this at all. And it's kind of generic. It just says widget maker, no links to me. And this will save you some time. And also, uh, you know, if I uh, update the plugin, of course the user guide will be updated and you won't have to worry about that. Totally up to you. If you want to uh, brand it with your own, then go for it. But uh, if you want to use mine, go for it. There is no branding whatsoever mentioning my company or my name. All right. So back to menu. Now this link is in a PDF that is within the iframe, the remote menu area. All right. And what this does is allow people to download a copy because you never know. Google may go down sometime very rarely happens but it does happen or some people like to have a copy all right these others or links and you can put any link you want on these and they open up in a new window you know like you can uh, put this specials it could go to your main sell site where you advertise all your goods blog news blog whatever you want Amazon it doesn't matter the links are your choice that can lead to anywhere. This can be about you or, or any URL and more. Same thing. All right. Uh, one other note here. Let's see what do we need to cover. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory on adding a widget. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you on a front page here. This is a test site on my local machine. All right, let's look at the Okay, this is uh, the front page of my test site here. And you'll notice that there, here's a widget that I made. They email me, contact me. Uh, here is a, uh, they call this a timeline widget. It can actually, uh, excuse me. No, this is not a timeline widget. <laughs> Get my stuff together here. This is actually an advertising widget. All right, you can put uh, your image, any link that you like on the read more and as many of the networks as we've got built in over here you could put these down here also this is your online networks you can have as many or as few if you don't have if you're not a member of each one then you don't have to add them that's just showing you all the ones that's added to the plugin sidebar and also we'll note see this widget here it's in a it's in a post you can add as many of them in a post as you want using short codes. This widget is in a post. This is the same widget in a sidebar. So when you build it, you've got the option of of uh, one widget when you build it can be used in sidebars or in post. How about Mr. Worm here? Uh, pretty much just a uh, uh, about box and you put your social networks on there this one is the timeline widget or I've called it general purpose uh, I can use it as a timeline style widget or I can use it as an advertisement widget like I've done here 
All right. That gives you an idea of, of kind of what what's going on. To add them, of course, you just go. And this is the one that I was just talking about, this social timeline widget. And general purpose is this one. All right. They kind of give you an overview. Uh, main thing to remember here is before you get started branding your plugin is go into your FTP program or if you use cPanel file manager it doesn't make any difference you need to make you a home for this remote menu again this is in an iframe all right just so that you do understand most of you that uh, would buy software like this do understand I, I'm, I'm positive but we want to make sure all right I use a FTP program called WinSCP, W-I-N-S-C-P, as in Win Sierra Charlie Papa. Free and uh, just something I like. I like that one. There's so many different ones. I'm not going to cover how to use FTP here. All right, so I have created a folder where I want on my hosting account. There's nothing in it right now. And after you generate your plug-in with the branding software you're going to have a folder pop up it's going to be pretty similar to this okay and there's uh, another video about this but I, I want to make sure you understand before you get started about setting up this remote menu sorry if I keep repeating myself but uh, I've had a few people test it and that was where they got hung up at so we got a remote menu here right and you're going to have these files inside of that remote menu you want to take everything that's in there and upload it to the new directory that we created just for this okay all their files are there and I pointed out in this in the installation video about not being able to access this directly okay now what I mean is is it set up it's in an iframe right it's in this iframe right here we don't want people being able to enter in the URL and going directly to this and only loading the menu. So there is a script set up inside this that if people type it in directly, if they find the URL, they're going to be returned to a page of your choice that is discussed in the other video. So if you try to go to this right now, it's not going to work. It's not going to work on your local machine correctly. You're going to be ended up uh, taken somewhere else. Let me show you here. Opened up edit window here this little script right here okay that will be branded of course with the URL that you of your choice right here and if someone tries to open this without being in a frame then they're directed to this URL so make sure you understand that it's not a bug there's nothing wrong designed like that on purpose all right so that, that gives you an idea of what you need to do before you get started that's the main thing is getting your remote menu set up of course you want to think about your plugin name you want to keep the name short here there's an option to change the name here of course also and you want to uh, keep everything short and that's it one last thing that you may come in handy let's bring this window over this is a free program instant WP Google it it's software that you can install and it will run a server for you on your local machine it's the easiest most easiest one I've ever used you can also use it to make PHP scripts or anything you want it's a full server got my US my SQL and everything okay it's even got uh, uh, the admin area here opens up which opens to what you're looking at here use it if you don't have one it'll save you hours you don't have to worry about uh, working and doing tests and stuff like you know you're going to brand your plugin and instead of having to upload it and go back and forth you can test it on your local machine to make sure you've got all the branding right and all the links because all the links everything will work and you can update your wordpress everything so anyway win wp check it out it's really cool it's free and uh, if you really want to get uh, interested in figure out all of it hey check out his uh, development guide I'm not an affiliate or anything 
but uh, it'll really tell you how to build a saw on your local machine and move it too. All right, that's all that I want to show you in this video. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.